There are almost twin investigations and things going on at the same time. I want to ask you about them really quickly. The first one is about the fact that the third party manager, Mr. Hennepin, was put in place because uh, the Justice Department decided to sue the city of Jackson for failing to provide drinking water that comes into compliance with the safe water drink safe drinking water act and the other being the epa investigation into whether the republican controlled party state of mississippi is violating civil rights by depriving jackson federal funds to water system jackson of course your city is 80 percent black what do you hope comes out of these two parallel investigations well, well, to be clear, uh, the investigation by the Department of Justice um, is a uh, is is within the protocol. Anytime you want a court imposed uh, or a court uh, regulated agreement to take place, and so they have to file. Uh, so this wasn't a fouling, um, you know, which was was adverse or or you know against the city's interest. Uh, we have been in conversation. If that were the intent of the Department of Justice or the EPA, uh, then they would not have sat down and, and talked with us and talked about uh, certain elements of this agreed order. And, and so uh, I know that that is what we typically see. Uh, but when a federal government attempts to take over and, and take uh, an adverse position against a city, they don't they don't sit down at the table with them. They just come over and, and, and take it over because they have that authority and they have that power. And so I want to provide that clarity. Uh, it's something that they have to do uh, in order to make sure that the full effect of what we're trying to achieve is accomplished. Uh, now, with respect to the NAACP's complaint uh, that is now being reviewed by the EPA, uh, I think that, that it is, um, there is some merit there. Um, and it is long overdue that we observe uh, the discrepancy in funding. Um, it is, you know, troubling to me uh, when not only administration, state administration after state administration, a legislative uh, session after legislation, let a legislative session um, feels that it is okay to deny these basic human needs, human needs that are not Democrat nor Republican. Uh, the water system is is nonpartisan. Um, this is how we are helping children, how we're helping the elderly, how we're helping uh, families and those that are sick and ill take care of their their basic daily needs. Uh, and so that needs to be looked into. Uh, when you have a governor who once was the state treasurer who brags about how he denied funding to the city of Jackson that was requested uh, at certain times. Uh, when you, you have uh, this bravado of uh, and, and boastfulness of we don't give Jackson uh, what they need, then, then that needs to be reviewed. Uh, or the suggestion at times to try to defend their position that they've given uh, more than 200 million to Jackson. And when you look deep into it, you find that uh, a good portion of that was uh, a sales tax referendum where the residents of Jackson voted themselves. Uh, to tax themselves an additional penny um, that, you know, is then allocated to certain infrastructure challenges within the ja city of Jackson, which has a state imposed oversight commission, uh, which often does not align with the priorities of the majority of the residents that determine what the, the projects will be. That's one. Uh, or the fact that they're talking about state revolving loan funds, which come from the federal government. Uh, which is not out of the state's coffers, uh, which is expected that the city of Jackson pays all of that money back. Uh, and Jackson will clearly not be able to loan itself out of this problem. Uh, this is going to require some level of value being uh, identified from state or, or even federal actors that say, look, these people deserve to have dependable quality water. Uh, when you find that even in that state revolving loan fund, Mississippi, in comparison to other states, does not offer the same level of principal forgiveness that other states do. Uh, one of our loans is $27 million. The traditional principal uh, forgiveness, or the cap that the state has established on principal forgiveness, is $500,000. That isn't sufficient to even cover the administrative cost of that $27 million okay. loan. 